You're watching Sports Line with Julia Cox. The Idaho State football team held their first scrimmage of fall camp this morning in Holt Arena, and it was a good opportunity for some of the younger guys to get some reps with the ones. I thought they did great. Uh, you know, their first scrimmage, a lot of their, a lot of the guys' first scrimmage, uh, first time with the ones, a lot of them, and I thought they held their own and uh, they did really well. Uh, they're they're uh, they're applying what they're learning and it's showing for sure. Uh, I just think that we have so much athletic talent in this program now to the bottom to the young guys. Uh, we, those guys can make plays, both offensively and defensively. They're going to be exciting to watch for a long time. Athletic talent can't hide the fact that the Bengals' offensive line, in particular their tackles, have been unavailable for most of the spring, making ISU rely on two redshirt freshmen with little experience. You know, we're, we're, we're desperately missing uh, veteran tackles. Desperate, and it's terrible. And we're, so we got two young pups that are learning on every single rep, and as they learn, it's it's a it's a it's a breathing process. We had a heck of a time blocking our defensive ends. Our defensive ends stormed over the top of those two redshirt freshman tackles who had their hands full. As for the quarterbacks, both Tommy Jewell as well as Robert Quinslin took a few reps with the ones. It's still unknown who will be the backup quarterback for the start of the season. Redshirt sophomore Tanner Guller, who was named the starting QB after last year, threw for 84 yards on 11 completions, still needs all the reps he can get with his offense to get into a good rhythm. Tanner still needs a full menu of reps to get himself ready. Something like Tanner's some freaking uh, gray bearded, you know, Brett Favre quarterback at the age 44. So, no, I, Tanner needs a lot of improvement also. Good, he's doing all right. He's, he hasn't mastered any of the nuances of any single play well enough yet that we can run it without having to correct him. And that just shows you how far he still has to go as a redshirt sophomore. Coach Kramer was very happy with the ground and pound offense today, and he loves the fact that they have depth at the running back position. Instead of Xavier Finney being the only running back in the program, top to bottom, we now have seven or eight guys that are, can handle the ball. And a couple of those guys are walk ons that are pretty good, and a couple of those guys are true freshmen that aren't going to play, and a couple of those guys are young freshmen that haven't, or Richard freshmen or sophomores that haven't seen the field yet. So a lot of width and depth to our running back court, and we will prescribe a little bit more how we change our offense to adapt to our, to our skill set. Our running back skill set's pretty good. Today really was for those younger guys. In fact, there were some noticeable absences out on the field. That included defensive back Tyson Manu, as well as linebackers Mario Jenkins and Hayden Stout. Wide receiver Kyle Williams was also very limited during the scrimmage today, and Coach Kramer told me that he's seen all of those guys. He knows what all of them can do. Why risk any injury to any of them? Now, the next time you can see the Bengals scrimmage is next Saturday at 9 o'clock. And 